Hi there and welcome uh, to another uh, tutorial on using Photoshop. On this, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you actually how to create a deckled photo edge or basically an old-fashioned photo something um, that you would probably see in your grandparents photo album actually. It would be something that looked like this here. Notice the uh, deckled edges uh, along the border here. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this uh, this frame. First thing we're going to do is uh, we'll create a new layer and we'll come over here to the marquee tool. We'll click that and I'm going to drag a rectangle, rectangle basically uh, the size or the shape of uh, an old-fashioned uh, photo and I've already preset the colors to a kind of a light or medium beige to kind of give it that old um, aged look. And here with my, uh, let's give my layer uh, a name here, we'll call that uh, border. You can call it whatever you want, but uh, I'll call mine border. And then with the layer selected, I'm going to hit Option or actually Command Delete because I'm using my background color, so Command Delete on a Mac. We'll fill that layer, that selection with the, uh, the color. Then while the uh, selection is uh, highlighted, I'll come down here, create a layer mask, and make sure my layer mask is highlighted. The next thing I'm going to do is come over here to the uh, filter gallery, and go filter menu, filter gallery, and we're going to use three different effects. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of those. The first one is the spatter filter. We'll click that and I've already preset the radius and the smoothness but you can go ahead and play with the sliders and see what works best for you I found that uh, 22 a radius of 22 on the spatter works uh, well for my personal taste the next filter you want to use the Sumi E filter but we'll need to come down and create a new effect layer uh, do that again effect layer click on Sumi E and notice we get a uh, softening of the edges uh, and again I found that 10 a width of 10 uh, for the stroke on the Sumi E filter works best with a pressure of 2 and a contrast of 16 but then again you can go ahead and um, um, you know, play with it and kind of get it the way you like it and then finally we're going to create uh, another uh, effect layer and we're going to select our uh, accented edges, which will uh, sharpen our, our edge a little bit. And again, you can play with those edges. Let's see. It's going to give us a little bit of a so smooth it out a little bit if I move it or increase it. We'll bring it back down about four. And we'll hit OK. Now notice uh, not much occurred here. However, I'm going to hold down my command key on the Mac, click my border, and then I get my edge, uh, my rough edges. I'm going to come back over here to the layer, uh, and um, I've got my background color. I'm going to hit command delete on the Mac because I'm selecting my background color, and it fills in the rest. Command D to deselect, and there's my border. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer. And I'm going to come right in here. I've got, uh, let's see, right about here. Click and then drag. This is where my photo is going to be placed. That looks about right. Now I've already opened up a photograph here that I've taken myself. It's already highlighted. I'm going to Command C on the Mac to copy. And then using Photoshop CS5, it's going to be Shift Option Command V to paste into. Let's go ahead and size that down. Let's see here. I went ahead and uh, gave the photo a sepia tone to kind of match my old-fashioned border here. We'll do that and I'll show you that in another tutorial on how to do that. Double-click it, set in place. We'll go ahead and delete that layer mask. Apply it. And now what I'm going to do is just give it. Let's see. Let's hide the, the guides there. I'm going to go to uh, layer, layer style, uh, inner shadow, just to give it a little depth. Drop it down in pixels to about two. Hit OK. 
and then we're going to come down here to my border layer and then layer style oh, where we go layer style I'll drop shadow give it uh, a good size there I'll drag it out a little bit there we go and there you have it a deckled photo edge or an old-fashioned photo edge all right, and that's it. Thanks for watching.